everybody, it's Holly with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry haul. Let's look at jewelry. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> Started selling on Whatnot. I'll leave my link. I just don't know. Um, you know, it's not easy starting things. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not that technically savvy. That's why you don't see me edit any of my videos. But I try to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I can't even open a pin, so. <laughs> I love this so much, and I don't know why. It's like a little lantern, Christmas lantern type thing. Vintage. I think this is Monet. Let's see. Hey, hey, Monet. Yes, it is. So, yeah. If you want to join me on there on whatnot, then you can follow my link, you know. Seems like there's some glue, perhaps. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's fast-paced. So... It, it's it's a learning experience for me right now. I'm just going to keep on learning. This is adorable. Christmas in uh, August. Almost September. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Right? My henna is almost gone. Well, it's not really henna, but that's what I call it. It's that Jaguar gel. Made from a fruit. Super cool and interesting, and I'm not going to untie this right now. Look at... Why do I find that so adorable? Why? Well, I thought it had something written up there. <laughs> if there was such a thing as collecting little acrylic Christmas things, then that would be a collection that I need to do. I need to. Because it's so... Darn cute. This reminds me of one of those, um, like, bunt cakes. You see that frosting on there? Would you wear this like this? No. I don't know why. This is very pretty. I like that. I dropped something. But that's okay. It's a present. Little cutie. Can I show you my favorite? Not this, but I love it. I love anything all rhinestone. This. It's like three-dimensional. And it's got some chunky glitter back there. Love it. That's one of my faves. And these, I had one with the old, yes, this has the old glitter that doesn't even glitter anymore, or glit. That's what brings me back. That glitter that has no more glitter left. Love that so much. And I did have earrings somewhere. Just one, shoot. This is adorable. I thought for sure it would be marked. So cute. I think I have two of these with the little bloops. Ow. Every time a bell rings, oh look, it has fake snow with kind of like frost on it. So cute. Little earrings. Jeez, the reason for the season. Is that? No. I thought that was another Monet. Is that swirly? Swirly rip cream. Rip cream. <laughs> I'm alright. I actually didn't make that much coffee today. Maybe that's my problem. 
But yeah, I showed a bunch of stuff on my, my sale that I didn't sell. But I thought this was really pretty. Do you think? I mean, it's in great shape too. This is, um, I think it's Napier. Yeah, Napier. Bracelet and 20 something inches necklace. Look how vividly silvery that is. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm going to put the rest of the Christmas stuff away. Do you think this is Christmas? Or is it just... Oh, look. Enamely. Do you think that's Christmas? Or do you think it's just your average wreath? I don't know if those are fruit. They look either like a strawberry or a walnut. What do you think? I think they're so cute. I love that. I'm gonna go with not Christmas, okay? Here is an example of really pretty faux glass pearls. Now, the only thing is you got a little bit of the verdigris, verdigray. Uh, that could be cleaned. And these are Marvella. I would wear these in a heartbeat. I probably have worn them because they're beautiful. They're a quality faux pearl in my opinion. I can't say enough about them. Adorable. But yeah, I, I don't know why, um, you know, some people scoff at that, you know, the faux pearls. No. They are some really great faux pearls out there. This is a very faux cameo. Can't see her face. That's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, this is uh, that Cloisonne bib necklace that I flip and love. Love that so much. This I think somebody would want this, wanted this. It's um, a lot of hearts, but I think they ended up not getting it. They don't open. So I've had it sitting around for a long time, but they're very pretty. Look, look at this. The twisted one is adorable. Love that. And then this one, I'm a little bit upset because I can't get it out of the bag. No, um, because this looks like this a little bit of the the vertigree going on. So I think I need to keep that guy totally separated so you don't do anything bad to anybody else. And this too. Very pretty. I have a bunch of watches that I dug out of all my big, huge watch collection. And I'm um, going to get them some batteries because they're super cool. HMI? I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, like um, one of those clear swatch watches. I think that's pretty cool. But, who knows, that's just me. That's me. This is so pretty. This is one of the things that I, I look at and I say, why haven't I worn that? You know why? Because I usually wear my Apple Watch thingy to keep track of my steps and all that stuff. So, I need to put it on the other hand, arm. I need to make it bigger. Look at that. You see that hot pink? That's faux. I got nothing against that. 
Oh, look at that. I don't know if you're seeing that, but that's pretty amazing. I need a close-up. I'm into some hot pink and some orange and some blue. I love you. I really do. It's so pretty. I'm just looking for some stuff here. I don't know why, but I like this. Would you call this a a trust a crustin a crustin? Would you call it that word that I can't say? Etruscan. It's so pretty. It's not complicated. It's not marked, but it's not. You know, it's just pretty. With a little blue. I believe that's probably not a genuine stone. But who cares? It's so adorable, beautiful. And this is dazzling. That blue. <sighs> well, you know what? It's green. <laughs> I don't know why I said blue. Because I have blue and green. But it's okay. This one is a little bit worn, but I love that glass. Love it. It's just like rock candy. Do you know what I mean? Holy rock candy. I've been trying to find all my uh, earrings and put them together. It's kind of like not that much fun when you can't find the matching earrings. And I know they're here. That's the problem. Know what I mean? So, like, I know I have two other ones of these BSKs. And these beauties, this and stone, but I love them. This is that button. Did I tell you the story about this? I got this so long ago. It's an adjustable, not fancy, but supposedly they had said, well, these are from a button factory that um, we bought a crap ton of buttons, vintage, and we decided to make jewelry out of them. That's what he said. They're like Austrian glass or something like that. This has got like the carnival glass finish to it, and it is glass. And it's adjustable. I've always been fascinated by it. Isn't it fascinating? Look at that. I don't know. I've had, I must have had it for 15 years. It's just, it does something for me. My eyes. It does something for my eyes. But yeah, the whatnot situation, um, it's working out. I'm doing, I've done two shows so far and I'm really liking it. So, join me. <gasps> hey, look what I found. I bet you there's a necklace, but I don't have it. And tell me why I'm in love with this watch. Because I don't know. Other than it's really cool. It's Swiss made. It's got a lot of wear. I just love it. It is chronochrome. Isn't that a song? Chronochrome. Oh, no, he's singing about a camera. Yeah, come on, just picture it. God, it's cool. Cool as heck. I believe this is a vintage pin. And it really uh, fooled me because I thought it was a barrette. But it's not. Fooled me, right? 
This has got some killer knots in it because it's gold filled and they're so delicate. But look at that. Look how cute. But it's got a knot here. I gotta get out. I just get those straight pins and fix it. It's gold filled. It's got that word that I keep forgetting that Carla Princess Casserole uses. Chatoyancy. I gotta even I gotta look that up. <laughs> to know the true meaning if I'm using it correctly. I think it means like a glow, right? It's got the glow. Well, you know, I think um whatchamacallit? Tiger's eye is is meant for that. Like it's like you get the glow, you know. Oh, look. Look at this. It's magical. I got the orange nails. One of my favorite vintage rings. That was given to me. So super cool. Yeah. Chatoyancy. Hey, these go really well together. Just need to, oh, imagine if this was a scarab. Oh, I wouldn't be able to give it up. I had this in my sale, but um, nobody wanted him. But if this was a scarab, I don't think I could part with it. Nope. The other favorite ring. Spoon ring. Gotta love it. Oh, and before I go, I haven't worked on this. Oh, this guy. Remember this guy? <laughs> I haven't worked on this. Because I read the poll and everybody was saying different stuff like pearls in between. This was the um, the watch necklace I was going to make. People were saying, you know, put Aurora Borealis in between, put a pearl in between. And Sally picks that for in between. But, you know, I thought it was cool because it's like, first of all, I love the color. Second of all, it's acrylic and it's cool. Oh, looks like a, like a, a bug. What do you call those things? I love them. Primantis reminds me of that. But yeah, this one's cracked, but I don't care. But I did it sloppily. I should be putting the rings on it, but I will come back to it one day because I really want to accomplish that. But on that note, I think I'm going to hit the hay. Thanks for uh, watching, subscribing, and anything you see that you'd like to purchase, you know, you can just go ahead and email me at vintage.discoveries21 gmail.com. I'll leave that down there. And also the whatnot, so you can come in and try that. It is really fun, and there's a lot going on. It's, like, fast-paced and um, just cool and different. So talk to you soon, guys. Thanks, as always. Bye.